and um and we saw it for the third time it's a good actually a good segue into the next uh into the next I topic watch the am- the uh amazon prime superhero comic with you um invincible i watched i watched oh that yeah with you. because you like blood <laughs> <laughs> but we uh we we just watched the other day we watched spider-man on christmas wasn't it we saw spider-man in the, uh, no, no way for home the third time, me for the third time me for the second time anything what, what do you think it finally hit the billion dollar i'm glad i was worried about it because china said they weren't gonna play it but spider-man no way home no spoilers here guys uh hit the billion dollar club thanks to me watching it so many damn times <laughs> Well, what did you think about it the second time watching it? Did you see anything that you notice anything extra? Anything that you didn't like? Any any plot holes? Still just as as epic. So, about the um, the one plot hole that I discovered on the third time watching, how the hell did Doc Ock know uh, that was uh, Norman Osborn? Nobody knew he was Green Goblin by Spider Man Part Two, so how would he know? I mean, I can understand by part three, maybe they, maybe it finally got out, uh, especially since uh, after everything that happened in Spider-Man three. But by Spider-Man two, it seemed like the secret was still contained that Harry kept this father's secret. So how the I said no spoilers, and then I'm, <laughs> and then I'm going right well, into but it. They, but they so they mentioned that, that he yeah, 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 that's no not really a spoiler. But you don't think that's a plot hole? They didn't really in part two. They didn't. They still. It seemed that Norman Osborn's secret as being the Green Goblin was not revealed. So how the hell would Doc Ock know? Is it Osborn? Like no way. I don't know. I just thought that was that was weird for me. But now it's so weird that it wouldn't make a billion dollars. Though. <laughs> what do you think? Are you gonna see it again? Or are, you just, or are you done? You gonna wait for it to come back? Oh. I would watch it again. You in the theaters? There's a lot of humor to you know. Oh yeah. Then the uh, what? What else? Uh, any other plot holes? Nothing. Nothing else. You like love it from beginning to end? Should we get a yeah. flash? Should we get a flash movie? Really, <laughs> Flashpoint. I really. I mean, I. You go see it again? Yeah. Oh man. I didn't even it's okay. Good. See, that's what I think I'll keep her. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think so. I would think like two times would be enough. I didn't know if you'd go watch it with me again. That'd be cool. We should go do that. We should go do that. Uh yeah, but yeah, the news hit that it uh Spider Man into the Spider Verse finally hit one billion dollars. Let's see, coming in from what does it say on deadline? I don't want to watch any look at any, any ads. I would pop it up onto the screen, but I just don't feel like it right now. Or can I? Let's see what happens. Hold on one second. Let's see what I got here. But no, the camera's not censored, so it wouldn't do good. It wouldn't do good for, uh, to do that. Spider Man No Way Home already in uh, the black from 1 billion worldwide box office could see uh, ultimate 600 million plus net profits. Uh, given how global exhibitions have been impacted by COVID with reduced capacities and on and off closures in certain territories, we haven't harped on the profits and losses of theater, uh, theatrical movies until now. Of course, as the first $1 billion grossing global title of the pandemic, Sony slash Marvel's Spider-Man No Way Home is already bound for a $242 million net profit after uh, after all worldwide home uh our kill uh and kill and killeries ancillaries that's what, that's what i said ancillaries uh marketing costs and participation however should movie theaters remain open amidst the omicron surge uh, particularly given all the covid safety measures they've implemented in the tom hollands and there have been uh been in the Cumberbatch movie remains on the steady box office track it's quite possible that sony features will see a profit that uh, close to three times what it's currently generating with an estimated 610 million and there was some countries i think norway where they delayed it was supposed to open in december with with everything else but they were like we're not gonna get to watch it until like january 14th or something like that so there's still some some money to come in um i'm pretty sure that it's still going to outdo far from home i think far from home was what 1.1 1.1 billion but it's it's on that path it's it's gonna surpass oh, yeah but, I mean, it was like 1.05 so yeah it so it's definitely by by week three the question is will it 
I was hoping it would get at least to uh, one billion five hundred million, one point five. That's what I was hoping for. But it might, it it might. But to me, this proves that that what Warner Brothers was doing with the day and date releases, you know, releasing things um, on HBO Max and in theaters, does not work. Mm-mm. Not in my opinion. Uh, every movie that pretty much uh, didn't do that did fairly well. And uh, and you guys, I know we, I know we haven't done much of the um, we got your mail. And we got your vote, but I do still post every now and then. And about 10 months ago, I posted that question to, uh, to you guys. And a lot of you talked about it. And I talked about it again on, on TikTok. Um, where the question was, when do you think the next billion dollar movie will come in? Will it be uh, in two, uh, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, or never? Uh, the majority of you guys said never. It never will happen again. And that was a fair guess because... It it was it, it was like it was still early with the shutdowns and whatnot. AMC was losing theaters. Um, uh, people was I always said never underestimate the laziness of the average human being. When people started getting a feel for getting movies to come directly to their house instead of having to go out, I was like maybe this is it. But nope, you got no. We're not. We we started going stir crazy and people didn't want to get cooped up anymore. Especially here in Texas. I think certain movies people know. I would rather see this at the theater first. Right. I don't. I mean, I, I want it at home too, but I don't want my first viewing to be mm-hmm. at my house. I want to see this in the big screen. The Last Duel. And <laughs> <laughs> damn kids, we were gonna could have gotten off the twitters enough to watch my damn movie but no no like, like yeah spider they made it into an event this was the closest that sony had to like an end game like because this was like like and i, I like i said this is I, I don't consider this an mcu sony trilogy this was an oct was it that what's the word octology this is a build-up like 20 years in the making so i, I need more yeah I would love to see uh, uh, more. People were talking about. No, I'm sorry, spoilers, guys. For if you haven't seen Spider-Man: No Way Home, but people uh, were hinting and talking about. Now we need to see Spider-Man Four with Tobey Maguire. Now we need to see Amazing Spider-Man Three. I'm like you, uh, like I said, spoilers. You got you got that with this. You got I, that. I need to this see was them together. Again, you yeah. I just want to see them together again, or at least Andrew Garfield. At least, if if no, if not Toby, at least Andrew Garfield. Um, but you got you got Spider Man Four and Amazing Spider Man Three. This was it. I'm sorry, like like that's that's what always happens. Bring in the Snyder Cut. We want the Snyder Cut. HBO and uh, they give you the Snyder Cut. Now give us this cut. Now give us uh, uh, the Suicide Squad cut. Like you, no, you guys are never satisfied. You got this this ultimate movie, this ultimate combination. And you're like, that's not enough. I want Spider-Man 4. I want Mace Spider- like, <laughs> like, it's never going to stop. So it's like, you give them an inch, they take them out. But at, but at the same time, I get it. We, lo- we love it. I would, I, I mean, hope they do have some behind the scenes, some bloopers. Because I'm sure there were some. You some, think most of that stuff was ad-libbed, huh? Some funny moments between the three of them. Yeah. In the scenes and between the scenes, that I, I feel like there had to be some moments because they've all played the same character to to, to play off each other and be. I, should say, I want. I hope Emma Stone comes up uh, behind the camera, like <laughs> like Kirsten does, pissed off that they got cut out <laughs> again. But well, that would be funny. But uh, and more stuff to to connect what's going on with Doctor Strange and stuff like that in the future. But yeah, but. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, and well, this is a working formula, obviously, but I, I hope Sony does it again. Hope they don't do it too much where it would, won't work anymore. But I feel like after the next Spider-Man, into the, across the Spider-Man uh, movie, when that comes out, and it just, Sony Sony is now humming with, uh, with some good positive. This is two good ones in a row with, uh, with Spider-Man, um, three in a row, actually, with um, uh, Far From Home, Spider-Man uh, and into the Spider-Verse, and then this—it's that's it's three in a row, positive. Uh, four if you count, you know, all the um, the uh, Toby, the Tom Holland uh, Spider-Man movie. That's four in a row of of positive, um, well-received Spider-Man movie. So now uh, it feels like Sony now knows what to do 
with uh, and a lot of people think that and tell me if you guys agree a lot of people uh, agree, say, think that spider-man into the spider-verse is the best spider-man movie ever done in, including all the old live action movies they it say it's what's currently rated number one it's the it's the highest rate and, and a lot of people argue that it's the ultimate it's the greatest spider-man movie ever made and i'm not there yet i'm still juggling between spider-man 2 now uh no way home and spider-man into the spider-verse i'm i'm the, i'm I'm going to go depending on uh, what day you, you ask me. It's, it's going to depend on that question. But let us know what you guys think about the whole thing, about the news about Spider-Man uh, hitting the billion dollar uh, club. What should they do uh, with that in the future? And just share your thoughts below. And maybe we'll Our supporters help make all this content possible, so make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo. Turned up on another level. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal.